Going over the trades on the day, let's start with All Strategy Access 1. Adaptive Movie Average had a challenging start. Finished strong, but down on the day, minus 1587.50 went short, went long, went short, went long. And so very choppy. I really thought that today's action would be down. We had a, the market sell off uh, a little bit on Friday into, 50, into the uh, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then another 30 points in the last hour. You know, we, uh, we had some shorts here. And those shorts were, um, you know, we didn't profit on those shorts. And we actually reversed along. So this was, uh, I thought this was some propping up, some artificial propping up here of the market. And then the real trend happened. It actually happened in the last hour after the stock market closed. And overnight when the futures opened and then the machine, came, the propping machines, as, as so to speak, came in and uh, propped this market all day on Monday. And so uh, it felt like a really weak market. The advanced decline line was down below 1,000. And it didn't go positive until later in the day. It's only actually plus 121. I'm going to show you that really quick. And so here's the advanced decline line. It opened down here, um, was weak. Here is the zero line, and so it was. It was the trend was higher, but weak below zero all the all day long. And we see the S and P up 53 points, Nasdaq up about what 200, 200 points. And so they buy weakness. Um, and, and so typically when we see weak numbers, we see more fall through the downside, but very weak numbers, very choppy price action. And so gap continuation, we go through periods of time where we're completely out of cycle with the market. The last five days has been challenging. So see gap continuation stopped out. Then we're on, in on a nice trade. You have this sell-off at the end. We get out 30 minutes before the close, and then the market rallies into the close to new highs. And so that's what happened on that only – we're only able to capture plus 60 on this trade, so really out of sync. And so there are times when we're really in sync, and we see surges in equity, and then we're out of sync, and we go through these drawdown periods. And so that's typical. Um, let's take a look at All Strategy Access 2 and tick pullback. The ES got stopped out on that pullback right into the close the last hour. You see the uh, there's about a 15, 20-minute period right here from 15.13 to 15.25, so 12-minute, uh, you know, sell-off, and then, you know, the sellers came in and the buyers came in, and so it feels, it feels like a stop run, but it's basically the profit takers or sellers are coming in, and then the buyers want more, and so you see, see that as well, and then that last, that last minute just surges again, and so it acts like a, an extremely strong bull market. Uh, with the anticipation of an extremely strong uh, economy, which is interesting. Uh, tick pullback in Q, good day, plus 620. Once again, we just, uh, the market dipped, like on, on the uh, gap continuation, it dipped and we exited here and then the market rallied. And same thing here, it dipped. This is not that big of a dip, but it dipped. We got out and then that last minute it popped on us. And so really, one of those days where it just kind of, you know, you go one way and the market goes the other way and pretty out of sync with the market. So overall, a down day, not as bad as Friday's, uh, but part of a five-day uh, drawdown. Before that, we had an equity peak. So our near equity peaks in most portfolios and all 77 was at equity peaks. And so that, those are the trades in this workspace. We have All Strategy Access 3. Cobra Euro 4 plus 51250, Asia Gold 4 minus 525, All Strategy Access 4, uh, nice trade in Cobra Crude Aggressive plus 415, Natural Gas coming back uh, in our favor, nearly stopped out on this trade, coming back towards the break even point and right around uh, below Friday's close. And so up on the day, down on the trade, multi day swing trade in Natural Gas to the short side. And then we have no trades in this workspace. I'll strategy access six. Gap fill in reverse, minus 525 on this crude oil trade. And then uh, last night we were short on the 60 minute breakout. I, I like that short going into the weekend. And right at the open, it gapped down. Good exit point. Um, but once again, just to, to note that the. Uh, the market did not sell off on Friday until after the close and then on Sunday night. So it was the trend was down, anticipated lower price action, but it rallied instead. And then you had that last hour sell off and the last hour gap down. And then today more 
buying from the Sunday night open. It did this last week, this pattern where you gap down on Sunday night, dip a little lower, and then it goes straight up. And you're just we continue in this sideways pattern. You see um, you see this sell off on Friday take out the four day four day low. So this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This sell off traded below uh, these lows. And then uh, the open traded below the traded below Friday's low, and then the market moved higher the rest of the day. So interesting, interesting price action, but we're very out of sync with that, as we, as sometimes the strategies can can do. So those are the trades on the day. Also, if you're trading the gold version of this, same thing. Gap continuation 2019 took the same trades as gap continuation 2020. Um, disappointing to see. The sell-off exit and then the market rally again. So once again, gap continuation uses a custom session where we take out the first 30 minutes and the last 30 minutes. And so this is this is actually 2:30 Central Time, and the market rallied after we exited on that trade. So those are the trades on the day.